Samsung has finally gone ahead and released the 980 Pro SSD with the heatsink in South Africa. To catch you up, back in October last year, Sony released the PS5 update that unlocked the SSD slot on the console. While this was good news for gamers, it wasn't the best news for South Africans. You see, no brand decided to prepare for this feature and import heatsink SSDs into the country. While you could easily find compatible 7000 megabytes per second SSDs, none of them had heatsinks and you have to have a heatsink to put it into PS5. And unfortunately, the Samsung 980 Pro was one of these SSDs. So back in October, we imported our own heatsink, which was really just a little piece of copper with a thermal pair tied to an SSD with some flimsy elastic bands. Regardless, it worked and it took the Samsung 980 Pro from being incompatible with the PS5 to being the perfect match for the console. In fact, I have been using that exact Samsung 980 Pro SSD since then and it hasn't given me a day of trouble. Even when ESCOM turns off my power because they can't tell the difference between Block 9 and Block 4, the SSD repairs itself and things go back to normal. Now for 500 Rand more, South Africans can save themselves the hassle of firstly trying to find a heatsink somewhere out there in this country, and secondly applying it to that SSD. The Samsung 980 Pro with a heatsink is exactly the same SSD, but it comes with the convenience of a heatsink already pre-installed. It is also a Samsung heatsink, so it's fancy and a lot more good looking than my piece of copper with the thermal pad tied together with some flimsy elastic bands. But regardless of which model you get, you'll still get the same incredible value across the SSD range, and I'm going to show you just how these tests prove this. Samsung sent me both the 1TB and 2TB 980 Pro SSD with a heatsink to test out and I could not wait to open my PS5 and install them. I also wanted to test out the thermals between the heatsink model and the model I put my own heatsink on. It will be interesting to see whether or not the custom heatsink has any major difference with the other model. Before we get to the test, you have to see the Samsung 980 Pro with the heatsink in the flesh. The SSD is about half the thickness of the custom heatsink model. It is of course an M.2 SSD that boasts the 2280 design. This means it complies with Sony's SSD requirements to fit into the console's expansion slot. I really like the design of the 980 Pro's heatsink, even if it's just a simple slate of metal. You can see from the inside that Samsung has simply taken an original SSD and slid it into the heatsink casing. There's a bit of glue showing on the one end which is being used to hold it all together too. There's also some thermal padding on the inside which is used to keep things cool and transfer heat from the SSD to the metal plate. The SSD also can't slide out of the heatsink even if it looks like it can. It is also closed with some screws which makes it tough to get into. Samsung also doesn't want you to remove the SSD from the heatsink either. This is clear by the giant warranty sticker on the seal. Installing the Samsung 980 Pro into the PS5 is as simple and easy as any other SSD you can get. You have to remove the PS5 faceplate by lifting the back corner of the plastic and tugging the faceplate in the opposite direction. Once open, you should maybe take a cloth and clean inside because you probably haven't and you should be ashamed of yourself. Once you've cleaned, unscrew the SSD cover to reveal the expansion slot. The Samsung 980 Pro is a 2280 SSD, so you'll have to install it from the far backmost slot. Loosen the screw in the spot that you need and slide the SSD into the slot. Once done correctly, you'll notice the SSD will hang in the air like it's happy to see you. Push that bugger down and replace the screw back into its original slot. Close the SSD case and slide the faceplate back onto your console. Once done, your SSD is now installed and ready to go. The first time you beat your PS5 up, you'll get a prompt that the SSD is installed and the speed test will show you that you've brought the right SSD, after which you're good to go. I would suggest copying as much content off the PS5 SSD onto the Samsung SSD to avoid the internal storage filling up, especially if you do a lot of video recording. It is always nice to have the PS5 SSD empty to save these videos on. So I ran some tests. As for the speeds, the Samsung 980 Pro doesn't disappoint at all. I copied games to and from the PS5 storage and I loaded some games and I got the following results. I was really interested to see whether or not this Samsung 980 Pro SSD with a heatsink ran any hotter than my own custom heatsink model. So to do this I copied two large games directly one after another and I tested running games for 30 minutes. Now I know Sony has implemented this tech properly so the chances of any overheating are slim but for anyone out there wondering if there was a difference between the custom heatsink model and this one, there is. 
The test showed that the custom heatsink model was a bit cooler than the pre-installed heatsink model, and it makes complete sense. You see, the heatsink model comes with a double-sided piece of metal, whereas the custom heatsink model I only installed one sheet of copper on one side. So naturally, the model with the pre-installed heatsink would get warmer. This is firstly due to the difference in material, and the nickel coating right near the bottom of the heatsink is able to absorb a lot more heat. It is also important to note that the area where this controller was, was the warmest, measuring 43 degrees Celsius. So does this make any difference? Not really. In order to see any real throttling taking place on the SSD, it has to reach temperatures of up to 85 degrees Celsius. This isn't anywhere close to that. So while the heatsink model is a bit warmer, it still performs just as well as the other one. Regardless, you need a heatsink. So either route you go here is great. Regardless of the increased heat, the Samsung 980 Pro SSD is a champion with or without a heatsink. If you want to get the hassle-free version, the heatsink model is your go-to, but there's honestly nothing wrong with doing it yourself too. The SSD performs perfectly either way, and that's thanks to the incredible engineering on the SSD. Once again, shout out to Samsung for sending these units my way for me to test. You can pick the 1TB model up for 4,999 Rand and the 2TB model for 9,499 Rand. If you're looking for the heatsink free models, you know, the one that you have to install your own heatsink, that will cost you 8,999 Rand for the 2TB and 4,499 Rand for the 1TB model. There's basically a 500 Rand difference between the heatsink and the non heatsink model. And that's it for this video, it was really fun testing these two SSDs out and especially checking out the temperature differences between the heatsink model and the non-heatsink model. Are you looking to pick these SSDs up? Let us know down below. As always, please do give the videos a thumbs up and subscribe if you're into this sort of content. And until next time, farewell.